Hello, Dangly Peeps. Uh, so Dangly Bob here, and uh, welcome just a quick uh, how to video because I've been asked by a couple of people on a live stream this morning about how we would do a couple of things. And I thought, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll chuck them in a video because trying to explain over chat um, was a little bit difficult. I didn't want to sort of stop the stream and do it at the same time. So this is that. First thing is, um, and I'll show you a clip now. Okay, so we're just going to circularize this orbit a little so I can get a decent scan. You see, I'm using a decent scan on the moon. You should have seen that little clip now if I've edited it right. But that, that little indicator, it's called the extended burned indicator down below, just gives you that little bit of information. And the thing to find where you find that is from your game here, hit the escape key or whatever you do to get back into the in-game setting, settings here. And if you scroll down, these are all good settings, yeah, all your graphics, etc., etc. Uh, but down here, you have uh, the temperature gauges. If you ever lose those, this is how you turn them on. So the temperature and the thermal highlights to when things start glowing, when you start coming in too fast or going up too fast, that's where you do that. But coming down further down here, you've got this one down here. And this is normally, I think, disabled or not enabled. If that makes sense and you just click that and it is disabled uh, and if you click that that's what brings up that little information which I've just shown you if I've done the editing right if I haven't done the editing right you won't have a clue what I'm talking about but next time you watch one of, one of my videos have a look down at that when I'm doing the the burns and you get uh, or when I, when I do um, uh, maneuver nodes um, which I haven't been doing on the live stream or didn't do it on the live stream this morning because I was doing it something else. I was, yeah, I haven't got the technology involved for doing maneuver notes, which is very complicating and a little bit more rambly. That must have been a stream yesterday. Anyway, that's where that is. The other thing was uh, when we were playing around the other day with, let me just close that, uh, quit back. When we were playing with the turbo. Um, in fact, no, I need to come back into that, but I'll, let me edit this and I'll come back and bring you back. And I'm back. So just got my thoughts into process. What I'm, I'm going into the VAB because you can't do your action groups in the hangar. I'll show you. Look, switch to the SPH. There is no action group here. Now, whether that's a, a programming bug or what, I don't know why you can't put action groups on here. There are occasions when you would want to dedicate, uh, put action groups on here, but you can't. So I end up having to go back to the VAB. Someone let me know in the comments as to whether that's a, a, a setting I haven't found in the settings, but I don't see why it would need to be a setting. Anyway, coming into these action groups here, as you can see, what I've done is I've taken uh, a turbo shaft and I've shoved it on the end of this wing here, simply because I've got these two here already set up is this torque limit so when i was playing around with the torque limit this is what the question was is somebody who didn't know how to set up these custom action groups and where the settings were now they're not in that last settings thing that i've just shown you those settings here for to, to program a key for these or to set a key for those is come out of this uh don't save we don't want to save that and when this comes onto the main screen, come back to your main menu. And when you're at your main menu here, come back to the front menu. So this is the first menu that pops up and you get these settings here. Now, once you've got these settings here, go into there. There's lots of stuff in here, general graphic audios, etc., etc. But go to input. And if you do input and go vessel and scroll down, you'll see that while these are here, keypad 7, 8, 4, whatever, the custom action axis 1 and 2, 6 and 9, yeah, the, 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 <laughs> it's all right, I've suddenly thought, why are they programmed? Because I've already programmed them. Yeah, great. When you come in here, these are all none. So these custom axis increments where you can, and you don't have to keep them tapping, you can sit there and hold it. Uh, I've set these all to the keypads because I can't think of another use for the keypads, obviously. You know, these are all already set, the alpha, alpha 
ones, the number buttons, and most of the F buttons are used by doing other things, particularly your streaming, because they set pause and go and other stuff like that. So you need to program these before you can use these. And as you see, I've just programmed a whole lot to keypad 7 and 4. So depending on what keyboard you've got, 7 and 4 are up and down on there, uh, 8 and 5, uh, 9 and 6, it says, and then 1 and 2 at the bottom, which obviously leaves you know 3 and point or the plus and the minus. Setting up how you want to set them up, but that's what. But you need to set them up in this menu. However, here. there we go. Uh, I'm gonna, not going to cancel settings. Gonna, well, yeah, cancel whatever I put in. And thanks for watching the video. Uh, subscribe if you want to see some more. It's particularly if you want to see some Kerbal Space Program. Uh, I'm doing a little bit of streaming at the moment, partly because of COVID stuff, partly because I really wanted to sort of get in streaming. There's more dust flying around. And I didn't, uh, I've, I haven't really done a lot with streaming. So um, you can catch me on Twitch and uh, YouTube. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And we'll see you all in the next one.